Hey tribe, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. So collective message, all signs, all placements for the full moon, okay? Uh, it's a full moon tonight in Libra. So we are going to be looking into who or what is coming towards you. Um, mainly what is closing out though, because that's what full moons are about. It's about cycles closing out. It's about releasing of certain energies. Um, it's about completions, okay? So that you can move on or progress further in a certain situation. So we'll be taking a look at that. Um, I did get two songs for the collective for the full moon energy. And the first song that I got was leave the door open by Bruno Mars. Um, this is a song that I've gotten often just for, you know, various different signs and energies, as well as the second song, which was hours and hours by Mooney long. One second collective. All right. Sorry guys for the interruption, but I am actually getting the energy of somebody blowing you up. Okay. Um, over the course, so it's a full moon, but we have another two weeks, okay, until like the new moon. So I feel like over the course of the next two weeks, there is somebody that is blowing you up, someone who wants your time and attention, somebody who's trying to get through to you, okay? I definitely feel as if that call um, is or will become significant for some of you guys here. Now, with the song selections, um, Lead the Door Open by Bruno Mars, I just feel like this is somebody... It can be, you know, any type of situation. It can be an employer, okay? Um, of course, it could be like a lover, ex-lover, or some sort of relationship dynamic, whereas somebody is really trying hard to convince you not to let go, okay? Or not to move on, or not to detach, okay? Somebody is trying to make something... Um, I feel like somebody's coming in, they're trying to make something look real good, okay? Appear like it's very stable. Somebody's trying to give you all the reasons to um continue on some sort of cycle with them but i feel like you guys are completely over the situation maybe it's just too little too late for some of you guys depending on what this is if this is a job some of you guys are leaving a job transitioning to the next um maybe leaving like a relationship transitioning to the, the next you don't have to be because I, I do feel as if um the collective is really just choosing themselves okay and what's bet what's best for themselves over the next two weeks that's what this full moon is bringing in but there's somebody who's trying to make it look good smell good appear very like tempting somebody you could be experiencing like heavy temptation from you know a specific person like someone is trying to um almost like bribe you in a sense or get you to stay to get you to stop to stop um to get you to stop from like moving on or progressing without them, okay? Um, and then the Mooney Long song, Hours and Hours, I got a couple of different things from this song. This could either be you, A, like if this is a romantic situation, I feel as if you are just really done with a past situation. And it does have a lot to do with some sort of new influence for some of you guys. Like someone else had your time and attention, okay? Or even if it's not someone else, I do feel as if your time and attention is just on you. Like you could just, you're just so focused on you and what's best for you and taking care of yourself um, in every way possible. So, um... Even though I've had those, both of those songs, you know, often in the past, I've been getting just completely different messages for songs that I've had experience with already. So let's see. We have You Are Enough popping out here, Full Moon and Virgo. Okay. Virgo could be significant. And then we have The Energy is Gaining Momentum. Okay. So I feel as, that's exactly kind of what I was picking up on. I feel like you guys have realized that you are enough in a situation. Okay. I feel like you realize um, that you deserve better or you've, you know, you, you have a lot to offer in there's something there's some sort of situation um that was not appreciating you okay and again i am picking up that it's like work for some reason it could be work it could be family members it could be friends who just don't appreciate you take advantage of you it could definitely be like a relationship or a romantic relationship but um i feel like you have realized your worth in the situation and you're finally closing the chapter on something finally closing the door on some sort of situation here um and the energy is gaining momentum and that is exactly why over the next two weeks it's like after this full moon closes out and then the next 
you know, two weeks, I feel like your energy, your vibration is gaining um, potency, something about potency, but it's gaining momentum, like things are picking up for you. So this could even be in regards to your confidence. Okay. It could definitely be in regards to like your money, but I just feel like overall your vibe as a vibration, there's something about you that's becoming like brighter or, um, it's almost like it's a glow that's about you, whether you're male or female, okay? It's something about you that's like irresistible. Um, maybe to a particular person or maybe just, you know, to anyone and everyone. I feel like you may be um, attracting just a lot of random people, people wanting to talk to you or just um, you feel like all eyes are on you. It's something like that that is going on here, okay? But let's see. At the bottom, we have your commitment is being tested, all right? It could definitely be, um, for some of you, it can be, I feel like that's past energy, honestly, your commitment is being tested, because I feel like it's something about your commitment to yourself, okay, like how loyal you are to yourself, and how good you are to yourself, um, and I feel like you guys may have been tried, okay, somebody tried you in the recent past, and it really puts you in a headspace of, you know, what you do and don't want, what you do and, you know, you feel as if you don't deserve, so, Let's see. Let's go ahead and get a couple more moon cards and then we will hop into the tarot for extra messages. If you haven't already, you guys, please go ahead and like the video. Uh, comment, I comment back, share, and of course, subscribe. The more you interact here with the content on the channel, the more it puts your energy into these messages and I can better pick up on what's going on with you. Now, this card came right back out. The energy is gaining momentum. So this is like... Um, I want to say it's kind of like a warning sign for some of you guys, but I don't want you to take it to be alarmed in a bad way or to be scared. Um, if you are feeling like anxious or nervous or jittery, almost as if like some, a gut feeling like something is about to happen, uh, I feel like it's because it is, but I feel like whatever's about to happen or be revealed to you is something that is very good. Okay. Especially for you guys who have, um, you know, recently released something or you've been really working hard on releasing certain things, certain, um, habits, certain people, things that no longer serve you. So if there's something that you just recently ended, okay. Um, a big transformation in your life, expect something great to come out of that. Okay. We have surrender to the divine. that just popped out here. Look at this. I'm not even going to pull. I'm going to take all of these cards that just fell out together. So we have surrender to the divine. We have believe in the impossible. Okay. We have your hard work is paying off and we have y'all and a new start is coming. Everything I just said, and this is new moon. Okay. What did I just say? So within the next two weeks, we run into a new moon and then the cycle continues. Two weeks after that is a full moon. All four of these cards just fell out in this order, okay? If you follow me on Facebook and Instagram, um, even on the community part here of my channel, I posted, uh, I post my daily readings, my daily spreads, and I posted one this morning to talk about that talked about divine timing and consecutive numbers, one, two, three, four, something that's in order. These cards, the way the messages just came out here, is leading up to some sort of new start, some sort of new beginning, some sort of like um opportunity i'm getting a lot of business energy because i want to say a business partnership or business proposal this could be some sort of contract something that you're doing you know every month or every two weeks or this is just like a, a returning client or like a plethora of returning clients it's something about business that's really picking up for you guys um and i feel like it's because you have recently really let go of something done the shadow work you know um, or into the situation, regardless of what that was, it's opening up a portal of abundance for you. So I'm gonna put these back at the bottom. We have don't let your pride get in the way. Okay. So don't let, um, I feel like in general, don't let your emotions get in the way here. Definitely don't let your pride get in the way. Um, I really, maybe a Leo is significant because I don't feel like that message, uh, was for you guys, but if you feel as if it was, then, you know, take what you get from it, from the message. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the queen of cups. Okay. We have the justice card here. And even with the queen of cups, I feel like this is your energy, male or female. I feel like you've been waiting, like you've just been patiently waiting on your turn. And that can mean a lot of different things for different people. Um, maybe just on your time to shine, your creative side, your business. Okay. Or on your turn for some of y'all, this is some sort of like dynamic with someone else, some type of relationship dynamic, where it's, um, you've just been waiting on your turn, like waiting for the tables to turn. Um, and I feel like you've been focused on yourself. You've been sitting back, you've been quiet, but there's something about 
the next two weeks, it's like whatever you've been waiting on, okay, to hit the fan or the tables to turn or waiting on your turn or your opportunity and whatever it is, it's coming, okay? It's being uh, revealed to you, especially with this justice card. This is a full moon in Libra and that's what the full moon energy is bringing, is bringing justice to situations there was an injustice in. So relationship, business, like whatever it was, um, if you were, you know, if you were genuinely um <clears throat> honest in a situation if you are genuine to this person okay if you did everything you were supposed to do right in a situation and somebody wronged you there's justice coming you got the justice card and the queen of swords okay very heavy on libra especially this is definitely going to take place for those who have of course libra in your charts here but it's some sort of judgment that's what i'm getting the letter j could be significant as well we have um eight of cups here the magician, seven of cups, somebody else is losing out on something here as you are gaining your strength and clarity. So I don't know, maybe you were the bad guy in a situation, you were deemed the bad guy, um, maybe with some sort of false allegations or some sort of falseness, you know, put on your character. But I feel like it's almost like you're being, somebody's record is being expunged or you're being expunged or you're being seen as, you know, this divine person that you are and not what someone tried to make you look like, okay? Um, or you are just getting some sort of, um, you know, karmic justice in regards to someone who did you dirty. Okay. Somebody who took advantage of you or played you. So let's see the 10. Look at this. I just mentioned judgment, the 10 of pentacles and the judgment card. You are being rewarded. The 10 of pentacles, this is financial abundance or just, even if it's a peace of mind clarity. Okay. This is just overall, um, doesn't really have to be monetary or material. The letter M could be significant also, maybe the initials J M. Um, but this is almost like you don't have any worries here. Okay. So something is being granted to you, given to you some sort of opportunity, peace of mind here within the next two weeks, but it's almost like it's a reward. It's just, it's your time. It's your time. It's time for the will of fortune to turn. And now that things are shifting, like karma never misses a beat. Okay. She, she doesn't miss anyone. So, um, maybe somebody thought that they got away with something in regards to you and you may be completely oblivious to what this is, but you're going to find out over the next two weeks. Okay. Lover's card could be dealing with a Gemini. Okay. Um, and then we have the Ten of Cups. You got the Ten of Cups and you had the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Two of Cups here. A lot of y'all, this is a contract. Like this is some sort of relationship. It's a commitment, okay? A commitment of any kind, something that um, you deserve, something that you have been waiting for. It's something about it being your time. Like it's your turn, it's your time. Spirit, what's going on with this full moon energy for the collective? Who or what is coming towards the collective spirit? What is being closed out? Any clarity confirmation? All right, so we have the Seven of Pentacles and we have the Knight of Pentacles. So you guys kept going, even though somebody was trying to stop you here. And it's a lot of work. It's something about money. It's something about people that you work with, you socialize with, or family, okay, or an employer, okay, or somebody you try to make things work with. It could just be that, regardless of the uh, relationship dynamic. Um, but somebody tried to stop you and you kept going anyway. You kept putting in the work. Okay. Seven of pentacles to the knight of pentacles, giving eight of pentacles, pentacles energy, which is about work. It's a lot about work here. So, and we already saw your hard work is paying off. So there's something, it feels like you guys have just been working on yourself. Okay. Full moon and Libra working on creating that balance within yourself, that inner balance, that inner harmony. And it's showing, it's showing. Maybe you're just at a higher vibration and you're attracting all of these different offers and everything else that was blocked beforehand. But your hard work is truly paying off, okay, with this full moon energy. Some sort of hardship. That's another thing I forgot. So as I was shuffling these cards before starting the video, um, the Ten of Swords fell out with the with the Three of Swords, okay? So an ending to some sort of hardship, some sort of betrayal, some sort of disappointment. I feel like that's what's cycling out. A lot of y'all are just letting the hurt go in a situation. Like, it's just leaving. You might wake up tomorrow and just com feel completely lighter than you do today. Um, it could be that instant or that, you know, on point, but... It's a cycle of some sort of three of swords energy that is being closed out and this abundance is coming in. It's like you're sprouting. It's the springtime, okay? Um, Aries could definitely be significant. We are still in Aries season, so maybe it's just that energy, but you could have it in your chart or someone that you're dealing with, okay? Could definitely be an Aries watching some of you guys, okay? Because we have the page of swords here. What else, Spirit, for the collective? 
<laughs> we have the justice and this person is watching you get justice or they're gonna somebody's gonna be put in a position where is they have no choice but to watch you get this justice get this balance or move on um somebody here is still saying is still stuck in some sort of same position that you left them in okay or somebody's energy just hasn't changed and maybe that's why you you have already let it go um or you're letting it go with this full moon energy here it could be a gemini for sure because we have the lovers um but the source could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. It's a lot of air energy here. And I I find, I believe the past uh, couple of weeks, I've been saying it a lot, something about air sign, air sign connection. So um, yeah, Page of Swords with the Justice card. So let's see. This Page of Swords could, could also be some sort of information too. doesn't necessarily have to be somebody watching you because I'm getting that this could be the spark or the start, like something very little, something you deemed as very little or you didn't think it would grow, okay? Or you're just going to get some sort of quick, short communication that's going to change everything or really bring in some sort of balance or justice into your life or situation, okay? With this full moon energy, yeah, things are taking off. And here's the seven. Sevens have been coming up a lot, um, a lot in my readings as of late. So taking off here, okay? Something is like, as soon as you get this information, this could be too. So maybe you're hearing something like a little birdie or you're getting some sort of clarity and information, okay? Either this has already recently happened or it's happening soon after the full moon or within these next two weeks. There's some sort of information that's coming in here and it's gonna give you, it's gonna give you, tell you everything you need to know with this justice card for you to move on and leave a situation or for you to proceed and move forward in a situation. It's something like that, okay? And we have the Ten of Cups, okay? But you're going, you're moving straight into emotional fulfillment. So regardless of whoever tried what with you, like, you know, it's not working or it's working in your best benefit. And somebody, I keep getting that somebody is going to be forced to see you win. Okay. This is somebody who tried to get you from obtaining whatever this 10 of cups is. They're going to be forced to see you win. And we have the six of cups. It's something about closeness or family, like a family member. Okay. Um, Oh, ooh. I'm hearing somebody, I'm hearing for some of y'all, like a family member is a hater, or maybe somebody just said something about somebody being a hater as I pulled out those cards, but um, that's exactly what I just heard. So 10 of cups with the six of cups here. Hmm. Some of you guys are actually moving, okay? Or you wanted to move or get this dream home or there's something that's coming in that's gonna help you provide this legacy for your family or for yourself. Something about future, long-term. That's another thing. With Hours and Hours by Mooney Long, I was getting whatever this is that's coming in for you, it's like, it's giving the energy of like permanence, like it's permanent. Um, it's long-term longevity. This is something that is going to last for a long time. This is something that's going to be in your life for a long time, or it's going to take you far here. There's something here that has legacy. Something about the, the letter L. Okay. It's significant too. So we have J M L. Um, also legacy could be someone's name as well. Um, but that's what I'm picking up on. We got the six of swords. Yeah, it's on its way to you. Whatever this is, it's either this information is on its way to you, like this person, or you are on your way to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you might not even realize it. It's like you're being guided with the six of swords, spirit guide card. Um, you're being guided to something here, to this new spark, okay? There's something that's, you don't even know it. That's what it is. The page of swords with the six of swords is the seven of swords energy here. Okay, so spirit is guiding you to something, someone, or guiding you away from something, someone, but it's still heading you um, in the right direction, exactly where you need to be. And it's something just over these next two weeks. Just give it two weeks, y'all. Come back, listen to the message again. Um, leave me a comment below. DM me. Let me know how this is resonating for you because it's happening. And we already got two seven type of energy showing up here. So let's see what else comes out. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is something that someone tried to um, someone tried to stop you from something, from obtaining something, getting some sort of position, some sort of payout, some sort of abundance, okay? Or somebody just tried to slow you down or someone was slowing you down here. Um, but it's like with the Justice card to the Knight of Pentacles with the Six of Swords, this is like a divine intervention here. Like if something um, has recently or after this video, soon after this video, if something just like completely... 
unforeseenly randomly goes left okay like if something just ends abruptly or just takes a turn or goes left like just trust it just go with the flow because you're going to see how things are going to play out within the next two weeks like there's a divine intervention with this full moon energy there's a divine intervention of something being balanced out whether you know it or not whether you like it or not um and, but i feel like if you are on the positive side of the energy like you are definitely going to benefit from whatever's happening okay so this is the next card that just fell out and it's the damn seven of pentacles so there we go seven 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 is what we got here seven of pentacles underneath the chariot which is card number seven this is what's your hard work is paying off and it sounds so cliche but i don't know some of you guys have been working hard to like prove something or to uh, whether it's to yourself or someone else or to like clear your name or you've been working hard at work or money some sort of project here something is taking off and i'm getting just like um completely something completely unexpected okay or you didn't expect it to happen like this or you didn't expect it to like happen so fast here the ace of cups y'all are what your hard work is paying off you walking right into the ace of cups whether this is new love or whatever it is this is like emotional fulfillment like the cup is running over it's also like you're being chosen for something too like somebody is choosing you for something a position um it's something here that you deserve like it, it's it's almost like a reward like it was well earned some sort of hard work that you put in okay and let's see what this last card out is the moon card okay the moon card with the six of cups it's also giving me like uncertainty like something that you don't see coming here um but it's also giving longevity with the six of cups energy maybe it's like i don't know i mean it could be a move this is like it feels like a once in a lifetime opportunity um something here of value let me see at the bottom we have the queen of wands here so this is you truly being in your power whether you're male or female and you got the bag you got the ace of pentacles queen of wands ace of pentacles um a lot of y'all are shocking people because i'm getting all of this hidden energy a lot of y'all are revealing something or you are shocking the hell out of people here's that other seven we got the seven of swords this is hidden this new beginning yeah the full card here another message that i was getting intuitively okay so um i just wanted to be sure of the timing of the full moon so i was googling it and for some reason intuitively i got the question i got the um the phrase of full f-o-o-l okay the full full moon okay so i feel like somebody thought that you were a fool okay or somebody just thought you were just i don't know just like stupid or you weren't gonna catch on to something here um but i feel like you've known all along here it's something about you having a bad are you like winning some sort of abundance um it's giving like checkmate type energy chess not checkers okay um but some of you guys have been planning something here somebody thought that you were a fool or somebody thought that they were getting over on you but you knew all of all the, the time like you knew or you stayed quiet about it or you kept working on your money anyway you knew somebody was stealing from you okay or somebody was trying to sabotage you or somebody was just like not um, they did not have good intentions for you, but emphasis on a fool, like somebody thought you were a fool. And I, I was also hearing, you know, fool me once, shame on me or shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me type of energy. Um, this is somebody, they've tried this more than once. Okay, somebody tried something more than once and they should have stopped the first time around because there's something about the good karmic justice that you are going to be receiving. Okay, some sort of blessings or um, payout or just good karma. Like, it's your turn now. Now is your turn. I'm also hearing there's no fun when a rabbit has the gun type of energy. So I don't know who did whatever to you collective. Um, but they thought like they thought but they thought wrong type of energy here so queen of wands it's like you have the power here okay i do want to see what this moon card is for you guys what is this moon card energy for the collective what is this moon card spirit and it's secrets it's something about it's a secret here but i feel like for some of you guys 
maybe you played dumb in a situation like you really knew all along something's being revealed here and it's giving you everything you need to know to like let go of something and move forward a cancer could be significant okay nine of cups with the ace of swords yeah the moon card is the secret the lack of clarity nine of cups you're getting something okay nine of cups with the ace of swords you're getting like an answer that you want okay or something you're getting clarity on something that you you knew already okay or you're getting some sort of wish fulfillment here um that somebody tried to so, so it's something with your family like somebody that's close to you a friend or something like that that somebody tried to sabotage with the ten of swords okay nine of pentacles so let me see collective i just want to pull one more card from the divine doors deck just to wrap up what to expect with this full moon energy okay transitioning through the next two weeks Final messages for the collective spirit. Final messages for the collective for this full moon energy. Intuition popping out here. Okay. So it says simple, complex words of pain or words that heal. You come to know the truth by the way that it feels. Okay. The moon is also heavily, um, the moon card, first of all. Okay. It's about emotions heavy emotions but this is a full moon y'all and this is the last card in the full moon's reading here so there's something is being like revealed some sort of like family secrets or something is also what i'm getting um and i i even feel like this reading is taking a like a turn like it's taking a left so something here is about to go completely left but it's in a way it's gonna make everything make sense okay and then at the bottom we have blessed this space it says your sacred space holds the soul to bear palo santos and sage will clear the air something about the air being cleared here okay whether it's your name someone else's name some sort of uh, secret here but it's um whatever is, is giving me tower moment type of energy could be a scorpio could be dealing with the scorpio whatever is crumbling down okay and being revealed is creating a space to just move forward okay and for all these blessings to come in for you so i'm gonna leave it here like the video you guys comment i comment back share and of course subscribe the more you interact here with the content on the channel the more it puts your energy into these messages and i can better pick up on what's going on with you so hope this helps and i will see you next time